Hi and welcome back. Um, this is the first in a new series of videos. We're looking at another another kit. Um, those of you who've been watching the channel uh, for a little while may recognise uh, the kit. We last saw it when my son and I um, had put together a PS Models slate wagon and he wanted to build something else, uh, something to pull the wagon and I gave him a small uh, four-wheel battery electric uh, loco again another kit by PS models um, and so today we've um, finally got round to starting to put this together haven't we and um, we're just going to talk a little bit about what we've done so do you want to tell them what we did first so we all oh, right these you want to look at these first so what we did when we first got it out of the box wasn't it we had a look and we decided that we might want to change some of the details you can yeah you can pick things up uh, we might want to change some of the details so what we did we decided that we might want to add some bolts um replace these so these are the you, you can hold them up in front of the camera you, they'll be able to see there you go uh these are for the axle boxes if i can get the camera to focus on them um they're the covers on the axle boxes so they're a circle with four bolts um they glue onto the sides um of the loco originally in the kit so they give you some some detail um below the below the axle box like that but what we did was we you had me did, didn't you design some more yeah. so i 3d printed some some more parts so um again here's the original one from the kit and here's my 3d printed um alternative so i've just done a kind of circle in the middle and some hex bolts um but hopefully that look a, a little bit better uh when we put it on the model um we also this is a kind of control panel part um, for inside the where the driver sits. Um, come on, focus. Um, and again, we've replaced that with a 3D printed one. I haven't put a, a line on the dial. I assume it's a dial. Uh, we'll paint that on instead. Again, uh, bolts. And then we did some um, separate strips of um, hex bolts. Um, you can see them on, on pins and we did some round headed bolts as well um, for some of the uh, for the lifting straps um, so yeah so one of the things we did thank you for the extra hand uh, was we've drilled out the holes on the coupling blocks and we've um, added in the hex bolts you did all the drilling didn't you yeah so what did you do we used this thing didn't we we used the drill and you press down and drill a hole in the wood. And then what did you do? We we used some glue and popped them in and basically secured them in. Yeah, and then we filed the back of them, didn't we? So we got them all nice and smooth. Yeah. Um, we've also spent the first thing, actually, the first thing we did this morning with the actual model itself was we went through and um between us you got a bit bored didn't you yeah. but between us we um we went for this this is the stuff i've used on all the wooden kits before this liberon spirit sanding sealer um so that went on all the parts and then we've we've not sanded all of them back down yet uh, we've just sanded back the ones we've used so we sanded down the backing plates for the coupling blocks um yeah this one you can talk you don't have to whisper okay uh, <laughs> We sanded down the three parts that make up the essentially the drive unit. Um, you then glued it together, didn't you? Yep. And then what did you do? You painted it as well. In black. In black. Counting. Yeah. So this was just a, a very rough um, painting with a with a with a standard kind of acrylic um, paint Oops. with a fur of the brush. Uh, we decided we didn't need um, to go as far as the aerosol um, or a, or a, or an air, or a airbrush for these. Um, when they're when they're fully finished um they will be um hidden essentially inside the local we just wanted to kind of take the the wooden color away so there's no nothing showing through um this bit that he you're waving around um this is going to be this holds the roof for the battery box um again once it's fully in place you won't see it but we decided that we'd seal it sand it paint it um in fact we didn't sand this because we decided we didn't need to did we we didn't need it to be nice and smooth um because it will be completely hidden inside the inside the loco um so that's that's our kind of progress so far isn't it so you're now just kind of 
randomly assembling dry assembling bits trying to figure out where where things go um, so I think the next step is we're going to do the wheels aren't we yeah we're going to have to fit the bearings and the motor yeah. um, I could actually get this whole all wired up and battery fitted and, and everything with just just this and make sure it all goes nicely um, unfortunately it then needs um, holding in place inside the inside the shell of the loco sorry inside the shell of the loco um, because um, it, it, the, the rest of the loco builds up around around this so that the front buffer beam clips on uh, this end um, and the sides uh, and it's it sits around the sides so we won't be able to make this removable or anything but um, we will uh, we'll probably get the wheels and the motor and meshing and everything sorted before we go much further you trying to get your head in the way of the camera um, but you can see how easy it kind of all fits to fits together um, we're getting there slowly um, yeah we've not had as much time as we'd like to do it have we no no you've been too busy with other things um, so hopefully we'll get a bit more done maybe next week uh, and we'll come back with a with an update uh, and see how we're getting on but we've um, as I say we've got some nice parts and I, I did these as well you might not be able to see these under the light very well um, I can see if I can get it to camera to focus if I can get there so yeah green bat oh, green bat um, works plates the local isn't specifically sold as being a green bat but it's very close to some of the pictures in the in the in the in the book I have it's a industrial railway society book by Adrian Booth um, that lists all the green bat locos so uh, that's where we've taken inspiration for the bolts and, and things um, so yes yeah, so that's where we're that's kind of where we're at isn't it yeah. you've been having fun yeah nice and easy yes as easy as the wagon yes excellent so um, yeah hopefully we'll be back uh, maybe next week and we'll see how we get on um, thanks for watching you gonna say bye, bye?